The series ships back to Houston, Texas for game six. It is the Texas Rangers and the Houston Astros as we welcome you to the 2023 American League Championship Series. So many stories came out of that game five. For the latest on the Brian Abreu situation, we go down to Ken Rosenthal. The Astros have many reasons for wanting to close out this series tonight, and one of them is the uncertain status of Brian Abreu for a potential game seven. Abreu is appealing his two-game suspension for intentionally throwing at Adolis Garcia. He is eligible to pitch tonight. His hearing is tomorrow. So if there is a game seven, and if his suspension is reduced or upheld, the Astros would be without their second best reliever for the deciding game of the ALCS and could carry over to the World Series. Astros coaches worked with Valdez through a bullpen session and three flat ground sessions to lower his angle. What they want to see on his sinker is 94-95 movement down rather than 96-97 flat in the zone. And that's a four-pitch walk to start the game. Wow. Yeah. Well, for Texas, they have to start out fast. They've got to get the lead to get the bad taste out of their mouth that happened in game five. So you got one of the key guys on. You got another one coming up. Seeger swings and pops it up. Here comes Bregman, and he makes the catch. And that's the first out. It brings up Robbie Grossman, the switch hitter batting right. Here's his 2-2. Breaking ball to get Grossman. Well, you got the change up. That's going to be a key. And then I talked about the curveball. He has the ability to throw it for a strike and act like a ball. The booze rain down on Adolis Garcia. They don't like him very much. On this one two pitch, he swings and misses with the ball in the dirt. Won't even head down to first. That's the inning. Nathan Evaldi, the best reason for the Rangers to feel good about their chances to keep their season going. Jose Altuve leads it off for the Astros. Of course, had the dramatic go ahead three run home run in the ninth in game five. Begins with a base hit the other way from Altuve. So Altuve is aboard to lead off the bottom of the first. There goes Altuve. Put on a second by Heim, not even close. Altuve was popping up out of his slide by the time that throw got to Seeger. He does a little bit of everything, doesn't he? Inside ball four. So Nathan Avaldi, who had walked just one over his first three postseason starts, has walked one here in the first inning. First and second, one away. You're down Alvarez. I mean, you look at the numbers that Alvarez has against Evaldi, and it's like this has got to be a misprint. Yeah. Nine out of 13. Team with two home runs. Alvarez, jam shot, right center, it's down. Here comes Altuve. Alvarez and Altuve combine to get the Astros on the ball quickly. He's able to muscle it into shallow right center field. A great read by Jose Altuve, knowing exactly where the outfielders were, and he scores easily. Two on, two out, and Tucker is 3-2. He struck him out swinging, blew a fastball by him at 96.6. But the Astros break the ice. They get a run on two hits and they leave two. And here's Mitch Garver to lead it off. And the first pitch here is lifted high into the air. Deep right field going back on this is Tucker. He's at the wall. He leaps and it is gone. A first pitch home run for Mitch Garver hit into right field. And just like that, the Rangers tie this game at one. We talk about how Framber Valdez can get rattled. And uh, maybe that'll do it. Mitch hits a 94 mile an hour fastball, 375 feet. Why bring your glove to the game, John, when you can just bare hand stab it? So good. That's pretty cool. Blue base hit for Nathaniel Lowe's. Got a hit in five games in a row now. And now it's Josh Young's turn with one out and one on. There's a ground ball. Six, four, three. There's a double play to work the road the blue pit. Just what the doctor ordered. We're knotted at one apiece. Ball four, and Brantley's walked twice. We've already walked just one over his first three starts this postseason, but two of them over the first three innings here. An influencer on that team, Brantley. On this 2 2, it is a cutter to the corner, and Brantley watches strike three. Yeah, must have been looking for something else. He was frozen. It's 2 and 0, oh, and. There's a man on first base. Yeah, I was just getting ready to say, you, you still have a base open. You can walk them. That's respect, right? I mean, that's also telling you, I can't get you out. <laughs> I guess one of the reasons why we haven't seen that more is what the next guy has been doing. That's Jose Abreu, who is right behind Alvarez when it comes to knocking runners in. There's a curve up the middle. Seager on a bounce, goes the short way. And Avaldi strands two. Well, the booing tells you who's coming up. It is Adolis Garcia, who, much to the delight of these fans in Houston, struck out his first time. Back to what happened in the eighth inning of game five. Got him! 
two-seam fastball away. Garcia chases. A big strikeout, the fourth of the ball game for Framber Valdez. The only fastball he saw in that plate appearance. So after parking one in the seats his first time, he hits a ball with eyes into left field to keep this fourth inning going. And runs it first with two outs in the fourth in a tie ball game, and Jonah Heim coming up. Got an 0-1 pitch. Drives one the other way. Tucker's going back towards the corner at the wall. Just over the glove of Tucker. Two home runs for the Rangers the other way. And they've taken the lead in game six. You see how he's floating? Oh, wow. Yes, he could have got that. He was floating back and just outside that glove. As Jonah picks up his second home run of the postseason, they've both been hit off Valdez. In the dirt for ball four. And the Rangers are at first and second. Second walk that Simeon's drawn. And here comes Corey Seager, John, with a runner in scoring position. We talked about it. This is Corey Seager time. He's got to deliver in this situation. There's going to be a meeting at the mound, so he'll have time to think about what approach he's going to have against Valdez. Swings at the first pitch, runs out to Altuve. Softly hit liner right at the Astros' second baseman, a big second out. And here comes Evan Carter for his first at bat. He has reached base safely in all 10 of his postseason games. He's hitting 313 with a homer and three runs batted in. On 2-2 two -two to Carter. He goes to the cutter and strikes him out to strike the pitcher. So Fromber Valdez works around an infield hit and a walk and completes five innings. Picks up his sixth strikeout. 9-1-2 and two for the Astros. Gets hit to open this fifth. So Maldonado heads to first base. Fans don't like it, of course. And Nathan Avaldi needed 25 pitches to go through the first inning. He's not given up a hit since. His 1-2 to Brantley. It is swung out and missed. Third good splitter in that at-bat. Big strikeout for Ivaldi against a very tough hitter. It's four strikeouts for Nate. And here comes Alex Bregman. It was a fastball. And then it's a cutter, and it's popped up. And after hitting Martin Maldonado, Nathan Avaldi goes one, two, three against the top of the Houston lineup. Jordan Alvarez stands in against Nathan Avaldi, who's about to deliver his 75th pitch of the ball game. Here it comes. And Alvarez whips it in the center field. That's a base hit. So Jordan, two for two, with an intentional walk, has reached all three times. Astros have had some traffic because of some walks and a hit batter, but they're over their last seven with men on base. Three muscles one through. And the Astros have life in the six. Back to back singles from Alvarez and Abreu. So Tucker reaches on the fielder's choice at first. Alvarez goes to third. Tying runs are on for Mauricio Dubon. His 0 2. Back up with a fastball. It's slashed to right center field. Garcia's over to catch it. It'll bring home Alvarez. And it's 3 2. Sacrifice fly for Mauricio Dubon, who again comes through. That'll bring up their leadoff man, Marcus Simeon. Simeon to left field with a two out base hit. The Rangers have runners at first and second with two men out now for Corey Seager. On this 2 1 pitch, pulls it sharply, knocked down by Abreu, recovers calmly and feeds Norris to the inning. Great play by Abreu to keep it in front. A really tough play, and a great play by the Astros' first baseman to leave it there. For the Texas Rangers, they strand two. It's the Rangers three, Astros two. He has only 84 pitches. He's had a ton of stress, though, and you just don't want to add any more stress situations and ask him to keep getting out of those positions. But until he gives up a run or a hit, I'm, I'm rolling with him. Here's a 2 on L2 back. Pokes it right side. Over Simeon and down for his second hit of the game. Time run aboard in the seventh. Bruce Bochy comes out of that third base dugout and makes the wave to the bullpen. So, Ivaldi goes six and a third here tonight. Altuve, the runner at first, his responsibility, but he will leave with a three to two lead. Hands it off to what is probably the hottest arm in this bullpen, Josh Spores. His two two is grounded to second for Simeon. we will go to second for one. On the first, Lee digs it out and a double play. What a play by Nathaniel Lowe stretching toward right center and somehow holding the bag. They complete the 4-6-3 twin killing that ends the seventh with Texas still on top. Look who's pitching. Look who's due up second in this inning. It is Brian Abreu who was suspended two games, has appealed that suspension, and faces Evan Carter, Adolis Garcia, and Mitch Garver in a 3-2 game. Top of the eighth inning. Out of a half swing. Carter's got good speed. Payne is going to
Carter indicates he was safe, and the Rangers will no doubt challenge this call. Easily safe. This should take five seconds. I agree. All right, so it looks like this is going to get overturned. Here comes Adolis Garcia. And now in this rivalry where the blood has boiled, intensity is built. They face off again. It takes off, swing and a miss. Throw down late. Stolen base from Evan Carter. Four for six against Abreu, and it's a perfect time to steal a base. You know Abreu's only really thinking about the batter at the plate. On one, two. Swing and a miss. Got him on a slider upstairs. And Garcia has the golden sombrero, much to the delight of the crowd at Minute Maid Park. One away. And it brings up Mitch Garver. Garver homer to right field in the second inning. On 3-1. Garver rips a line drive to the left field corner. It's a fair ball. Carter's in with the insurance. Garver's got a three-hit game, and Texas has a 4-2 lead. Garver's having his moment. And the GM, Chris Young, who lives and dies with these games, he says it's not healthy the way that his heart goes up and down watching his team. And the Rangers' lead is 4-2. Right-hander Jose LeClerc into the game for the Rangers. Blew the save, giving up the three-run home run to Jose Altuve in the ninth inning in Game 5 on Friday. Enters here with... Alex Bregman at second, Jose Abreu at first, one out, bottom of the eighth, four to two Rangers, and Kyle Tucker the batter. Tucker 0 for 3 today, 3-1. Three, Outside, ball four, through the changeup there, and the Astros have loaded the bases. Astros trying to come from behind in the late innings against the Rangers for a second straight game. Well, Cook's 0-2. Line to short and caught by Seager. Got it off the end of the back, two gone in the eighth. Jeremy Pena's been called back. John Singleton's going to pinch hit. He pinch hit against LeClerc. In game five, his first plate appearance of the postseason and was able to draw a walk against him. Payoff pitch. He struck him out swinging on a 92-mile-an-hour high cutter. Singleton strikes out, and the Astros leave the bases loaded in the eighth. No runs a hit, three left, and we're going to the ninth. Corey Seager, bases loaded, trying to crack through. He's 0 for 4 today and has struggled with runners in scoring position throughout this series. Stanek's on to face him. Oh, oh, he gets hit, and they do the hard way to make it 5 to 2. Stanek comes in, misses badly with his first pitch, misses badly early with his second. Young's in to score, 5 2 Texas. Stanek could try and continue Garcia's misery tonight. He has struck out four times. Well, you can just see he's trying to hit it over the train tracks. He's trying to make a statement here and just really coming out of himself. Stanek's one more. He is thrilled on a line. Left field and gone! Adonis Garcia makes his statement, and the Rangers have their sights set on game seven. Well, it was on the train tracks, but it was special. Third straight game with a home run for Adolis Garcia. The Rangers have broken it open. They lead 9-2. to two. Barn Houston miracle. This series is going seven. And here's Jankowski. Jankowski flies on the right field. Tucker's going back. Track, wall, lead, catch! Well, Tucker brings this one back. Almost an instant replay of the home run earlier from Hein. But this one he's able to grab. Right up to the ball on plane. Look how tall and how much he brought that ball back. And Andrew Heaney is coming on to uh, finish the job tonight. Two pitches, two outs for Heaney. Brantley has walked twice. 0 for 2. He is swinging a ground ball back to the mound. Heaney's got it. He will flip to low and the ball game's over. The Rangers have won it. We're headed to a game seven in this all Texas championship series. And isn't it fitting that these teams that tied during the regular season at 90 and 72 still can't decide things through six games? This is how it's supposed to be.